feel like your dog comes bursting through the door when you open their crate. I had a completely different video plan for today, but we've had so many questions on the channel about crate training a dog this week that I thought maybe it was time to create like a crate training series or a crate training playlist for those of you at home who are struggling with crate training. Now we know that using a crate is a great management tool for your puppy or for your young dog, especially while they're in training. But one thing that people often overlook is what a great natural training opportunity it is. It's something that occurs several times a day, letting your dog in and out. And it is the perfect opportunity to build in some impulse control exercises. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna show you some impulse control exercises that you can do with your dog in their crate so that they make better choices both inside their crate and out. I'm Ken Steep and welcome back to McCann Dogs. Every single week in this facility, we help more than 500 dog owners who are just like you to overcome their dog training challenges using the McCann method of dog training. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. Now I've popped into the studio because classes were going on and it was getting a little bit loud out there. I didn't want you to miss any of this, but in the kennel today we have Mac. Now I've never done any crate training with Mac. He is a notorious door dasher and I don't really know what to expect from him when we start this exercise but for you at home if you also have a door dasher who comes crashing out of their crate I want you to start by immediately building value for your dog being in their crate it can be something this simple what we're going to do is get that crate unlocked and then we can reward them for it I don't know if Mac's gonna see this he seems to be licking my finger here Mac what's this buddy but one thing I want you to be aware of Mac will wait on a wait command you know, he's my competition sheepdog, but he, he doesn't have a lot of experience with crate training. What I'm working on here, I don't want him to require any sort of cue to maintain that position. What I want to do, and this is what's going to be so helpful for those of you who have a dog who's often unsettled in their crate, is to have them choose to remain quiet, have them choose to be relaxed and feel like they're being rewarded simply by remaining in there. So I can see Mac is uh, sniffing around. I think he found that first treat. Now, I want you to take control of the, your crate door and then open it just slightly and see what you get. Yes, you can yes your dog and then reward them. Maintain control of this door. If you have a door dasher, the moment they get that treat, they're probably coming out to see you. But uh, so hang on to that door. The other thing, whether you're using a plastic crate or a wire crate, make sure that reward position is at the back of the crate. The last thing I want to be doing is re rewarding him in this position. We know that he finds value out here. If he, you know, he, he's so excited and enthusiastic to come screaming out of the crate, we know it's valuable out here. Now we need to shift transfer some of that value inside the crate. So let's try this again. We'll open just a little bit more. Yes, good boy. And we're making this tiny steps for him. The other thing I want you to do is be careful that you're not rushing, uh, opening the door too quickly. If Mac chose to start to leave, if he started to come out on his own, yes, good boy, I'll toss a treat in, I would just simply close the door. I would stop where I am and close the door and then sort of go back one step. I would move, uh, you know, uh, back to a, a third open, quarter open, whatever that spot was where you were successful. Yes, good boy, good job, buddy. You gotta want another treat? That's a boy. Good. He's doing a really great job here. I'm quite surprised. Sometimes I'm really worried about him. As soon as I take hold of that door, he will race out. Let's see if we can get to the halfway point. Yes, good boy, buddy. And this is one of the benefits of front loading the value on this. You know, by, by starting, by rewarding in this position, by rewarding him as soon as I took hold of that door, he started to understand that, you know, maybe it's not so valuable to race out of that crate. When you start to see this kind of impulse control, I don't even think he's paying attention, he's still looking for that treat. Good boy. Now remember, don't let go of that crate door. This would be the time when he could make a mistake. Yes, good boy. I'm gonna toss that treat in. Um, this is where you're going to see uh, the impulse control kick in. He's starting to realize that there's value for being th thoughtful. If I've got a clip, I, I'll try to find a clip of him coming racing out of his crate, but we're starting to uh, have him use his mind a little bit about choosing whether or not he goes racing out of that crate. Good boy. Yes, good boy, he even offered a sit, what a good boy. Now I'm pr pretty confident that he's gonna remain in position and I don't wanna be dependent on my hand on this side of the crate door. Good boy. If he goes to head out, I'm just gonna close that door again. Yes, what a good boy, good job, buddy. So let's see if we can get to the wide open crate door. 
Yes, you're a good boy. Nice job, buddy. I haven't done much uh, food rewarding with him. He's my, uh, oops, he's my um, good boy. He's my competition sheep herding dog, and uh, food. Re the only time I've used food as a re reward with him is some handling exercises um, and uh, working on his his recall at home uh, with his. Rather than having a come, he has a that'll do. So when you start seeing this kind of behavior, yes, good boy. Um, I know that Mac will work for food. Now, if you have a dog who isn't doesn't love food or is um, you know so um, stimulated or stressed when you're working on crate exercises, you can always use your voice. Good boy, what a good job, buddy. Um, but be careful that you're not using that as a cue to remain in the crate. Now the one thing we do have to make very clear to Mac is when he's allowed to come out. So one way to do that, we use a release word for all of our exercises and it doesn't necessarily mean you can move, it just means you can stop whatever it is that I've asked you to do. Now after getting so many rewards in his crate, it's likely that Mac will think, well if I just stay in here I'm going to get uh, rewarded. So we might need to coax him out a little bit, but be careful that you don't reward your dog after you've released them. because. Remember, we're really trying to show them that being in here is where all of the value is. So that it sort of has that overall calming effect. But our release word is okay. So even if, so Mac has received so many rewards in there, he's not excited about coming out of the crate. So I might just need to lure him out a little. Okay, bud. Okay, come on out. Come on. Good boy. And then I can pat and praise and do whatever in your kennel. Good boy. Look at that. Good job, buddy. And he just, uh, right to the back of his kennel because he's, re he's received so many rewards there. But I love how quickly this exercise, uh, you know, had this kind of impact on him because he was a real door dasher before we started. This can be a great exercise and uh, it can, really impact your overall dog training. You're going to start to see your dog being a little bit more thoughtful, less impulsive, less, you know, uh, rammy, so to speak. Um, but simple exercises like this, especially when it comes to crate training, are so valuable and you can do it multiple times every day without taking a huge chunk of time away from your other training exercises. To watch the next video in our crate training series, click the card right there. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every single week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. See you in the next video. Oh, good boy. It works.